All right, so last thing I'm gonna talk about is something we did this year that was by far our most effective way of using empty. Um, and what we did is we motioned, okay, um, to quads. Okay, and here's the thing, when you motion to quads, one, not a lot of people do it, okay? I felt like we, um, I mean, we weren't revolutionary by any means, but we were doing something that you don't see every Friday, every Sunday, or every Saturday. Um, we were doing things um, that defense coordinators had never seen, okay? And we made them, maybe not never, they never saw on Friday, let's just say that, okay? So we were making defensive coordinators do things and adjust the things that they hadn't read a book on, or they hadn't watched film on, or they hadn't seen Okay, so I think it's important to be creative, okay, but don't be too creative to where your kids can't do it. Uh, they have to be able to execute what you're trying to get to accomplish. It doesn't matter how good it looks on the board, okay? Again, all this stuff is only good uh, if your kids understand your base stuff. If they don't understand your base stuff and what you're trying to install, all this empty stuff, it's just too much, okay? They got to understand base, okay? So what we did, okay, what we did is we got trips, okay, we got trips. This is where it's important, where this has to be a good ball player, okay? We got trips and we would move the back pre-snap, okay? We moved the back pre-snap, okay? And the defense didn't really have an answer early, okay? Um, and because we didn't only run this, uh, it would made it very hard to prepare for. Okay, so we'd move the back, pre-snap, snap the football, and throw in the swing screen. So we're just blocking head up. Okay, real, real, real simple. Okay, because our quarterback had a really good arm, he pre-snap motion all the way out to number three. Okay, we're snapping this football, we're throwing it out there on the numbers. If you're not chasing, okay, if you're not chasing, we got you out leveraged. Okay, pre-snap. We're throwing the football, we got you out leveraged, we have more hats than you. Okay, this guy's a good football, he's a good football player, he's a good athlete, he's hard nosed, corners don't like tackling, safeties don't like come running the alley and tackling him. Okay, puts them in a huge bind. Alright, so that's step one. That's step one. <clears throat> step one is a swing screen. Okay, step one is a swing screen. Alright, from there, okay, we have two we had two fakes off of it. Okay, so we have two fakes. Uh, X fake and Z fake. All right, so if we identified when we went pre snap motion, okay, when we identified that this safety was responsible and going to chase that swing because we were out leveraging you, okay, what we did is we called all hitch, we went pre snap motion, all hitch. Quarterback would one step flip his hips like he's selling, safety would move, and we throw the X post behind his head. Okay, we throw the X post behind his head. All right, um, we had three touchdowns on that this year, um, one for 80 against the 5A state champ. Okay, and, it, and it's not because it was just simply we had them out leveraged, and when they moved, we had answers, and this kid could really play. Okay, so that's one, that's one way to, to attack. All right, the next one, if, they, if this safety doesn't come and they're just telling this safety to run the alley and go get it, okay, be aggressive, all right, we run a stutter and go. Okay, now, let's be honest. I can, we could do this because this kid's a stutter. All right, so your better option is to throw the post, okay, as your fake. But because this kid was a stud, we were able to do both. And he, we, we, uh, uh, I think we had two, two or three touchdowns off that. Big, huge plays for us to shoot. Okay, so that just base level right there, swing screen with your X and Z fake, really puts people in the bind, puts the defense in the bind. All right. So from there, we got into some of our dropback stuff. We went spacing with it. Okay, and we also uh, went snag as well as stick okay 
All right, so we went spacing with it. So we would go Y spacing, all right? So we tagged spacing like earlier. We put the, 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 the Y spacing puts him on the curl of the football. So that tells us we have curl flat, all right? But here's our flat coming in motion. So I tagged him on a go opposite hash, okay? We had a ton of success. All right, that safety's got to stay with it. Corner plays over top of this. Backer runs to take away the flat. All this grass is right here for that post call. Okay? Puts the defense in a huge bind. Huge, huge bind. And again, I'm going to have to film all this, guys. All right? So um, if, I, if you, you're struggling to follow along, again, ask questions. Take a look at the film. Let me know if you uh, have any questions. All right? The next one, again, three by one, move into quads. All right, we went snag. Okay, we went snag. All right, so snag for us, corner, snag. Okay, and I put the Y on a go oppo. Boom. Okay, again, stretch your people horizontally, stretch your people vertically, attacking people at that 12 to 15 yard mark. All right, we are manipulating how they play us with motions. Okay, and being able to attack. If you don't cover 52 and a quarter, and if you don't uh, cover vertically, we're going to hurt you. We're going to hurt you bad. We've got play calls for all of them to attack it. Okay, that was snag. And then the last one we got into, okay, the last one we got into was stick. Okay, because what they started doing is they started selling out hard. Okay, they started selling out hard to take away the swing screen. Okay, again, that's step one. If you can't throw the swing screen, if you can't block out wide, you can't do all this stuff. Okay, but you got to be able to block. And once they started, once this backer started playing extremely hard and aggressive on that on the screen, we just ran stick right behind. Them. Okay, MOR, and we cleared it out of the vertical. Okay, so we kept it real simple. We kept it real simple. Okay, um, again, if they don't understand your base stuff, they can't do this. Okay, so something to think about. Again, look at the film, check it out, see what you like, what you don't like. Um, install what you think is best for your program, for your kids. I would start small and slowly build year by year. Uh, but you know what your kids can handle. Uh, just try to do what's best for you and your team. If you have any questions, to let me know. We want to answer anything and everything. All right? Y'all have a good one. It was great talking with you.